Is yeah, this going to get me killed? No. And you go like this right after. Down, bro. You it down, bro. Oh, you guys throwing the rakes? Yeah, we're throwing it down, though. <laughs> Apparently, there's bloods and stuff in Hawaii. I think I heard about that one time, but, like, Hawaii is not a place I think about when I think of bloods, gang members, and gang activity and whatnot. Let's check it out. Y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all gonna die. Just hours after we finished filming, someone was shot right where I had been doing interviews. Honolulu police what? have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. When you think of Hawaii, you think of picturesque landscapes, lush rainforests, waterfalls, and beautiful beaches. One of the last things that might come to your mind is gang affiliations. But did you know there are numerous blood and crypt territories in Oahu? No, I did gang not. banging in Hawaii has been around since the 1970s. It all started in Kalihi with the Bloods Braves Gang out of Camp 4 Hollywood and the Sons of Samoa Crips out of Kohio Park Terrace. In the late 1970s, the original Bloods felt the state had been neglecting their public housing projects. So to send a message to the local public politicians. Five residents carjacked the Honolulu City bus and took the police on a seven-hour car chase before ultimately crashing it off Interstate H1. This is how the Cam 4 Bloods got the name Home of the Braves, aka Braves Gang. In 2023, the two most prominent blood territories are the Mayor Wright Housing Projects and Kalihi Valley Homes, aka Cam 4 Hollywood. While the two most prominent Crip Housing Projects being Kuhio Park Terrace, aka KPT, and the Bloods and Crips in Hawaii is crazy. How did they get there? I hope he explains that. Because I need to know the story behind this. Hawaii is supposed to be like surfer bros. Chill vibes. Volcanoes in the background. Little tiki monsters. Little mahito. Tahiti. I don't know. I don't really know what drinks. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't really know what drinks. I'm not an alcoholic. I hope he explains that. Dana's and a side of Hawaii I hadn't even heard of before. Junta grew up in Cam 4 and raised himself since the age of 13, telling me that his home wasn't a stable place and he only had his mud brothers through it all. So for this episode, I ventured to the Cam 4 housing his project to meet up with Junta and his friend BG Bucks to find out firsthand what life is like as a blood in Hawaii. This one five four BG blood on gang east side paru blood. Shoo one person is dead after an overnight shooting in Kalihi. It happened in the same area of a deadly shooting just last month. Police are still investigating a deadly shooting here at Kalihi Valley Housing. This came in around 4.18 this morning. Do you guys consider this like one of the most dangerous hoods in Oahu? Fuck yeah. <laughs> nah, not gonna lie. Nah, 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 it's dangerous hoods in Oahu, no, but dangerous you. hoods in Hawaii. What are these guys doing? Come on, man. You know what? I'm not going to say that because I was going to say you should be on a beach or something. But I'm from Jamaica and I know damn well if you don't live near the beach. <clears throat> Listen, guys, if just because you live on, on an island doesn't mean that you're on a beach all the time. <clears throat> you might live on it like in the middle of the island and the beach is like two hours away and that's a drive. So, But I need to know how did the Bloods and Crips get to Hawaii? Today we're at the Cam 4 housing project. Wait, can Hawaiians say the N-word? Do they get the N-word passed? Aren't they like Asian or something? Do they get the pass? Comment section. Let me know in the comments. Do they get the pass? Jacks in Oahu. One of the most dangerous hoods in Hawaii. We're going to be doing some interviews, seeing what life is like in the hoods right here of Oahu. Hey, we, we in the Camp for Hollywood. Straight home of the Braves, bro. Where to? Who am I here with? You got Bucks. Juice. Call me Juice. <laughs> What's it like growing up here? Uh, it's pretty difficult to be honest. Bro, itching to throw up a gang sign. Too. Look at his hand you know, twitching. This the, uh, <laughs> this the, uh, man. Over here is a different story. This is the other side of the island that most people don't see. You don't really hear about our shootings either because they lying. try not to broadcast that much shit because they would fuck up. The BG, dog. <laughs> there ain't no BG around the world. West to the east. We all there, bro. That's like that hood down there. That's like. Olaha, bro. Straight Cribs. That's the, oh, the oh, SOS, the means Arnold, Skit, all those niggas, and up here is like Eastside Power Rouge, Bloods, you know? Yeah. That's why there's Bloods and Crips all the way in the fucking Hawaii, yeah. in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We're from the Braves, bro. Braves gang, this is home of the Braves. If you recognize the project housings? Wait, what did he say? The tourism type shit. It's BG, dog. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no BG around the world. West to the east, we all there, bro. That's like that hood down there, that's like Crips, straight Crips. That's the, get the SOS, the hard knocks, get all those niggas. And up here is like Eastside Power Rouge, Bloods, you know. So right down the street are the Crips, which I'm, I'm going to guess that's their enemies. 
Right? But why are you getting down crazy, guys? I didn't know Hawaii was carrying it like this. You think this shit's a, this shit Chicago on the islands. Chirac put on the island. Yeah, that's why there's bloods and crips all the way in the fucking Hawaii. Yeah. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We're from the Braves, bro. Braves gang. This is home of the Braves. If you recognize the project housings, this is one project housing. Going down, straight down to the next project housing, ops. Down the street is den of thieves type shit. No, no, Kizzy, they, they, they're enough thieves down in um, Cohio Park Terrace. They KPT. KPT stands for Cohio Park Terrace, a housing project just 1.2 miles down the road from Camp Ford that reps the rival color blue for their loyalty to the Crips. For years, Why is he the dressed like projects that? have beefed back and forth, getting in street fights and. Is Brandon affiliated? Is he affiliated, guys? Bro is dressed out, or, or maybe he just didn't. He, he just wanted to fit in, so like he, he put on a lot of red. Posting the videos online to YouTube. Police and public housing officials are struggling with the recent increase. Wait, that's the fight? ...to the Crips. For years, the neighboring projects have beefed back and forth, getting in street fights and posting the videos online to YouTube. Police and public housing okay. officials are struggling with the recent increase in violence in Kalihi, and now they don't some represent say the Hawaii. internet I'm is gonna, helping stoke that rivalry guess. between housing projects. Social workers say that these obviously well-planned fight events are promoting an attitude of violent rivalry and could be creating oh. an atmosphere. What's up with this guy's forehead? It's like someone took an axe and chopped him right in the middle of his forehead. Or he, actually, you know, he looks like the guy from um, Star Trek. Then die in ignorance. I can waste no more time on you. The brown guy with a little strong face. I can't remember his name. That'll encourage more people to join gangs. <laughs> A subtitle on this video describes it as a scrap between CAM4 housing and KPT, Kuhio Park Terrace. Note the red cloth, gang colors, on one fight. A tradition that is now fading as the new generation Weak. resorts to picking up Weak. weapons instead of fighting with their hands. Because Hawaii's known for just running them hands, bro. Anybody that want them hands can get the smoke, but... Not from shit. what I just saw. Lately, this generation be different because everybody want to use weapons and shit, so... Everybody had to adjust. Yeah, Some niggas want to bust the, act like they're going to run hands and then out of nowhere they just like pull up their shirt and they bring shit. out a fucking machete. Chop your arm off type shit? It only gets to this deep where the shit start hanging and shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, nah, bro, they're serious. Like, nah, I believe you, no bro. Jokes, bro. Like, if they see that type of shit on the news, what's going on, they're not, they're yeah, not going to want to come to Hawaii. Who would want to come you know? over here if they really understood, like, what we but go like, through? Dude, I don't know. Dude, bro, he's got shot in the head. Yeah. Like, what, 2019? In the same year? Got shot in here? Yeah, they got shot at the top. With only about 1,500 residents at Kalihi Valley Homes, nearly half a dozen people have been killed during <laughs> recent years. I like that every friends, shot is just him in a, in a different baby. position. Every shot is just him in a different position. He's just on a rock, on a mountain, on a cliff, on a giraffe. And KFAT. The friend Junta is speaking of Look. is 16-year-old Starsky Willie, who was gunned down inside the Camp 4 housing projects. Later in the video, we visit the site where Starsky tragically took his last breath. What is it like to, to walk outside your front door and know, like, just 100 feet away one of your friends got shot? That can't be a very safe feeling. Nah, for us, it's like, it's understandable, because, like, niggas die every day. That's what I'm trying to ask y'all guys. Do Hawaiians get the N-word pass? Because I don't know. That hair don't look that nappy, man. I don't know, dog. This is questions for, like, real philosophers. Copernicus, I don't know. Who? Aristotle, I don't know. Aristotle. Socrates, maybe. Does he, Do they get the N-word pass? And they, they think that over here be, like, the same thing. Like, it's all good, but really, really... We feel that type of traumatic and damn Asian. type shit. Sometimes it trips you up because you know how you feel when you see a brother down. It's trippy how you, you don't cry at his funeral anymore. Like you just, it's you just so used to it. You don't even tear anymore. Shit's like crazy, bro. No, it's that four, dog. Hollywood, nigga. Yeah, bro, that's that four family. <laughs> Ooh, you want to drink with this? I'll drink it with Nigga, take sure. a shot, nigga. <laughs> Where to? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, you could tell he been through some stuff. You could tell his friend died right there. Really hurt him. He trying to hold it back. He need a therapist. He need a therapist. He 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 got to take a shot. Because that one touched the heart. He ain't like talking about that one. 
shit. Hey, everybody about to take a shot with us. Hell yeah. I don't For the streets, right? Yeah, yeah, for the streets. For the break. Yeah, song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy, Brandon, is double, everywhere. You gotta, you gotta do double. You gotta do double. Double. I gotta do double? Is that Hawaiian style? Yeah. What's the, the drink of choice here? Drink of choice? Hey, what's the drink of choice, Suave? <laughs> Corona? Ooh, Ian J. Hennessy and marijuana. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Y'all drink hen dog out here? Hell yeah, yeah, you already know. Oh, shit. Hey. drink anything out here, bro. For real. When the island boys came down and they said Waikiki K. Yo, screw it up, man. Waikiki K. Waikiki K. <laughs> Just understand that Waikiki. <laughs> Waikiki. <laughs> Ain't no fucking Ain't city or nothing to anybody, bro. That's a tourist spot, bro. <laughs> this is in the hotel. Yeah, bro. That's, that's... Well, he said that's a tourist spot. So the island boys went down there and said, Waikiki K. That's not even a gang place. There are no gangs over there. Bro said it's all tourists over there. That's a tourist attraction place. So what are they talking about? They on there talking about anything. You know, I'm not surprised. These are the same guys that kiss kissed each other, right? That was weird as hell. I don't give a he I don't I don't give a flying rat's ass if that's my twin or not. I'm not kissing bro on the lips. Exactly, bro. I was like, bro, they this is the whole not time, happening. bro. That's crazy, bro. Them island boy, like, what the fuck, nigga? What, what would happen if the island boys pulled up here? Uh, uh, island boys come through. his here, ass. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They gonna run up. They gonna be running out the back back gate naked as hell, bro. <laughs> Take the drawers. <laughs> like we on some psychological yeah, warfare. Strip, type shit. Yeah, word too, bro. They would got stripped. The youngsters would see them like, oh, that's a lick, you know? <laughs> that's money right there. They, free they lick. The yeah. After a few drinks, I. I asked Junta what he did for fun growing up, and he took me to the old closed-down rec center and basketball courts that he used to play in as a kid. There used to be a, a, a playground or a park right no, here? It's, it's like a little court. It's a little court down here. Up, up there was like the hall, study hall. We used to come elementary, come up here, play inside, pool table. All I know they're dangerous, but they just don't seem dangerous. They all just seem like a bunch of beach bros that just happen to be gang affiliated just by chance. Y'all don't get that vibe. What? Let's watch the rest of it and just tell me if you comment and let me know if you get that vibe. They just seem like beach bros. They all got this chill vibe about them. It's the Hawaii in them. All that, you know? It's like a teen center, like for kids and shit, bro. But it closed down. The state still didn't do shit about this, you know? They'd rather see us at the bottom. That's why, like, the kids, they're so into other shit because they, they don't have bikini bottom stuff, vibes. stuff like this to keep them busy and shit. You feel like the kids run up here don't have an outlet to express no, themselves? they don't, you know? They don't. After a little research, I found a news segment from about 10 years ago where they talked about the closing of the rec center and how they had plans to rebuild it. Engineers determined the rusting roof and sagging structure was unsafe, and the gym's been closed for the past two years. But residents also worry about the safety of these kids without a proper place to play. The decrepit gym is just one of many problems at this public housing complex. And if the gym at Kali Valley Homes can be repaired, it will be. If not, a new one will have to be designed and then built next year. With over a decade since this clip aired, nothing has been done to repair or rebuild the closed down rec center. So with few outlets for entertainment, I got to see how the kids of Camp 4 improvise for fun on a Friday night. Are all these kids listening to dr drill music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can Are they getting sturdy? Are they getting... You need racket irons and playgrounds and stuff like that. You don't have those stuff. Your kid gonna end up joining the gang. Y'all gotta have some after school activities or something, man. Chess club, I don't know. Something. Give them something to do. Close down the rec center, now they gang banging. Crips and Bloods in Hawaii. That is blowing my mind right now. Like, what are y'all doing down there? <laughs> yeah, bro, from the east coast to the west. Look at that, look at that. Bro, they're emoting on us. <laughs> hey, where you guys from? Yeah, where, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Cow, cow, four Hollywood. Best hood. The it's best, the best hood? hood? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That ice cream on your face. My knees hurt, dog. <laughs> no yeah, bro. Shit, I can't even do that shit, bro. Got got the kids over there playing pogs. You got you heard of pogs and shit, bro? Nah, what's that? What's that? What's oh, that? Oh shit, come, let's go check it out. Pogs. I have no idea what this is, bro. <laughs> it's like one of the games we, we grew up playing too, like. Hey, 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 explain them to him. Explain, explain. Them. Oh, we just hit the pog and whoever make them all say win. All right, let me just watch to see if I can figure it out yeah, with context clues. Yeah, right now, I'm feeling like a moron. The game of Pogs, which actually originated in Hawaii, has been played on the islands ever since its creation, way back in 1927. Various rule sets exist, but the overarching theme consists of throwing a slammer onto Pogs in an attempt to flip or move them and eventually take all the Pogs from your opponent. And what, what does the winner get? The whole all of these. The whole thing. Got Pogs, got marbles. Pogs? Pogs, yeah. I thought that was a Twitch term. Nah, nah. Pogs in the chat? <laughs> pogs in the chat. This is Hawaiian Pogs. Shout out to all the Pogs. Channel, <laughs> We're learning something. If you see this little nigga, bro, better watch out because he might smash your windshield. Shout out to whoever smashed my window two times in Providence, Rhode Island. I know it wasn't him, but maybe it was someone like him. Look, back at it again. Coming straight from Cat 4 Hollywood. We got the birdie taking a sip. Ah. Yeah. You want to see how we do it in Maryland? When we get drunk, we hit the gargle. We got a gargle squad. Oh! What is going on in Hawaii? Wakiki? No, they going crazy though. These surfer bros taking gangbang and and and, and turn it into. Y'all see me? I might be one of them. Y'all see this tat? I might be a senior Hawaiian blood. Y'all gonna see me here with a spear and a red red bandana. This guy Brandon is everywhere. He's in Philly and Kensington. He's in Hawaii with the Bloods. This is crazy. I'm gonna show you another video with him too. So they, what? That's how they hit it in Maryland. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's kind of fucking. No, what? Gargle squad. He's walking to the barbecue. That 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 gargle shit is kind of like sus and kind of. They can't invite anyone to the barbecue unless it's Hawaiian barbecue. Because I'm still trying to figure out if they got the N word pass. They done said it like 50, 100 times and already. Like weird, bro. To me, that's crazy, bro. That's like pause, bro. But I ain't hear this shit ever in my life. Gargle squad? All of a sudden, I hear, yeah, bro, I gargle like that too. You know? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Ain't no gargle squad, but we fucking gulp gulp this shit, bro. Not no guac guac. What? Gulp gulp sounds crazy too. No, 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 not no guac guac. Just go, go, go. <laughs> He's like, just drink it regular, bro. If you stay a little bit longer, you see a fat islander tradition, bro. It's called mixing kava. I thought the kava. You, uh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Kava. Put it in the sack, put it in the water, squeeze that shit out. Ha, ah, kava. Yeah, kava. This guy. That's why big bro going to hop with us. He going to be up. Bro is lit. When we mix some kava, buddy. You'll be a dragon, bro. Yeah. You'll be a dragon, bro. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> ain't even mad. Type shit like you know, bro is yeah, lit. Stomach, bro. I hear like we got he he got like a pendant of, of the brodies that passed away. I hear this this three of the brothers. Oh man, rest in peace. Hell yeah. yeah, BSK BSK to the world, blow man. Not only did Junta welcome us into his neighborhood with open arms, but he is also paving a way for the people of his community to make it out of the hood through their music. Right now he is underground, but if you're watching this and want to support his career as well as the people of Cam Four, check out my two favorite songs by him, Automatic and Till the World Blow. Now, let's hear him kick a few bars. Yeah, memory really on some gang shit. I'll make you famous if you slide up in my lane. His haircut is crazy too. Bro got two little rat tails in the back with a sharp little thing on us on the, uh, in the front. Bitch from one block to 45. Load the Glock, then you gon' die. See the snakes, they in disguise. Cock it back and let it fly. BG what? BG, we the BGs. I spin the whole block like how you spin a CD. Put that blower in his face like fucking 3D. Seen his life flash before his eyes, before he see me, nigga. <laughs> Listening from a nigga that's just like watching this shit, bro. That, that's we look as buddy as a hood prophet type shit. He he gonna be the one to make it out and set the path for all the other people that's trying to make that type. Yeah, I think he, they gonna make it out off his talents. It wasn't as, but it definitely wasn't anything like mind blowing. He need a little work, cause if he took time to write that down, I don't know. Maybe it needs a beat, but the acapella it, it wasn't hitting for me. 
Let me know in the comment section if it was hitting for y'all. The music type shit. Hey, right, buddy, low key, bro. Fuck these niggas, bro. They know what time we are. We on shot o'clock, bro. They know what it is. These niggas don't do what we do. Ah, uh, these niggas don't know what it is. Shot, 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 you know what shot, it is, bro? Count for Hollywood. Slap your bitch. If they're relying on him, I don't think they're making it out. Like that? Yeah, bro. Not one of them make it out. Is this gonna get me killed? And you go like this right after. Are you guys throwing the rakes? What did they have this man doing? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'm a good kid. Don't hurt me. Hey, Throwing up gentle gang we live signs. On channel six, bro. <laughs> we live on channel six, bro. Oh, we got Brody in the Henny. No. Hey, Henny, anything is possible. Ah. Yeah, hen dog. Come on. Full time. Full time. <laughs> Hey, my buddy live. He live, huh? After a few hours of getting to know the people of Cam 4, we walked to the memorial site of their close friend Starsky Willie, who in 2019 was gunned down right there in their neighborhood at only 16 years old. You know, we out here, we got the buddy, buddy spot down here. You know, I swear that one of the homies he passed away. This Star Lane, caught his bitch Star Lane. RP the bro, you know. Star boy, you know, RP buddy. We had his spy, you know, so respect. Pour him on for the buddy. You know, that's where he took his last break, right here. Fuck that nigga who killed him, bro. On he got shot over there, bro, brody. The bro in the back, the one that, yo, he's just always in the back just throwing up gang signs. That's like his job. They probably pay him just to do that. Every time the camera's on, bro, make sure you're in there throwing up gang signs in the back. He just be having any random conversation. He just him in the back. The speed of his hand signs. Nobody's that fast. <laughs> he had enough, you know, energy to run. All the way down right there. He fell down and the homies picked him up. Came over here. RP baby. RP the brothers. And there's a lot of unseen shit. There's a lot of shit I can't, you know, talk about, but we good. It's understood, you know. We know what it is, bro. To the brothers, but you already know we Catching bodies for y'all niggas, bro. Him. Yeah, you gotta talk about none of that. Condition, nigga. You throw it up and throw it down. Fuck all you fuck. You can tell he a crash out one. Mind, what yeah. do you want to be when you grow up? They sent him on all the missions. You better. Better, you know? Shoot father. Shoot father. Hell yeah. I know this ain't as worse as old black, but we'll make it worse as old black. No, nigga. No, 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 no. I don't think it's cool to like be more violent. I think it's cool to have like a nice yeah, community yeah, and everything, and, like be thriving and making money and just killing it in that general, in that yeah. regard. You know where I'm from, bro? Like nobody get along. Everybody came, bro. For real, like we, yeah, we get some connects here and there, but other than that, nigga, bro, everybody's K, bro. For Why do you think real? that is? I think that is because niggas hate us. What I say is him. I, I knew know. it was they him talking. funk with us. You feel me? Because we funk different, bro. The way. Bro is the crash out dummy. They sent him on all the goofy missions. I'm talking about. You need something stupid done, you send him. He ain't gonna tell you no. I promise you. He down for anything. We funk, nigga. Man, we fucking funk till we. Nigga, we. Man, I don't even know, but. BG don't play, bro. If you wanna die, you can die, nigga. If you want to live, oh well, it is what it is. You feel me? Do your thing, man. Just don't, would, just don't. Yeah. Just, I'd like to do my thing and live. Just don't, hey, you know, everybody die one day, but it's it's about what you leave behind. You know, it's what you, it's what you do. You know, straight up. So Talk handle your, your issue, boy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm a gangster till I die, nigga. It's BG, nigga. Fuck everybody. Yeah, what, what shit kind of, out there, man. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Man, I want to leave a legacy that my youngest just look up to me and just look like, damn. I want to be like homie right there. G, you feel me? Like, I'm a gangster, bro. I, I live to this shit, bro. I die to this shit. I don't give a fuck. Dog, I don't care, bro. Like, really, really, bro, man. I love everybody, but if niggas want some smoke, man, they can get it, bro. Like, we don't play around, bro. Man, y'all come visit Camp 4, y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all gonna die. Bro, fuck everybody out there, bro. On gang. Hey. Yeah, we, we are. Little bro is too turnt. Little bro is too turnt. What happened to him? What's his evil origin, his um villain backstory? That's what I need to know. I want his villain origin backstory. Marvel, get on that right, right away. Ooh, you know I'll probably make a, a good one for him? Ridley Scott. Some alien vibes, right? Set that motherfucking Hawaii.
he like half alien, half Hawaiian. And that's why he's so aggressive. Because of the alien half. Fuck that kid and shit. We, it's love, bro. <laughs> Hawaii got the most dirtiest, dirtiest cops out here. I tell you that, bro. They got a, bro. They got a whole unit called, the, you know, the goon squads, the undercovers. Fuck y'all and not even get sent to jail. No, straight up, bro. I'm telling you, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii got the most dirtiest cops out here. Straight up, you know. Fuck twelve, though. Fuck twelve. Like me, out of my like mindset and shit, bro. We just trying to paint a better picture for these young, the youth, you know. Do better, you know, if we can do it, they look up to it, like, shit, we can do it too, you know? Straight up. It's we love, respect, we I'm still we waiting on, for Stitch to pop business, out. You know? Shit, he look, he look, he look lit as fuck, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, <he's>, red, bro. <laughs> bro, he's lit, bro. He yeah. crossed, he off hey, that bro, yak. While filming this video, I had a great time in Camp 4. And although they told me about the tragedies that had occurred nearby, I was pretty relaxed the Friday night that I spent there. But only an hour or so after I left, a gunman came through and fired shots right where I had been doing interviews, resulting in a member of the community having to be hospitalized. Thankfully, he survived, but this is just one of the many acts of violence that plague the area and the surrounding community. I was surprised. I mean, they're out there loose off the hen dog and whatnot, loud as hell, right? And then they said the ops was right down the block. They probably heard him screaming and yelling, saying, F this, F that. They just gonna slide up there. I'm not too surprised by that one. To hear shots were fired so soon after me leaving, and I really feel lucky to not have been caught in the crossfire. Here's the news clip from that incident. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. It happened on Kalaunu Street just before 1.30 a.m. According to EMS, crazy. the 27-year-old suffered a gunshot wound and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police say no arrests have been made and no details on a suspect. Finally, How do you if even any of you guys those out streets? there want to keep up with Junta and Cam 4, follow him on Instagram and check out his YouTube, all of which will be linked in the description of this video. As always, the extended cut is on Patreon, and if you want to buy the cold-ass riding jersey that... Well, there it is, folks. That's the, well, that's the Bloods. I don't know if he did a, if he did a video with the Crips, but that's the Bloods Hawaii. I don't know what it is, but they all give me surfer vibes. Like, I know that they're dangerous and that they're out there shooting each other and stabbing each other and whatnot. But like, oh my gosh, I just can't take them serious. Like, not like L.A. Bloods and Crips, right? You see those niggas in a cut. That's a scary sight. These niggas like a little bunch of goofballs that just picked up gangbanging on the side. I'm, you know, like I said, they still dangerous. Don't don't let that fool you. They'll they'll do something to you, but it's just the vibe that they give off. Shout out to them. I see you on the next one. Matter of fact, go check out my late my, my last video.